None of you told me this was coming out. <sighs> Hello everyone, salutations and happy Sunday to all of you. Welcome to YAN, I am Mr. A-D-A, -A, Aaron, A-A-Ron, Atlas, Aaron C <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, your host with the mostest, and today we're gonna be watching, what are we watching today? Oh, the trailer for The Forever Purge. So, I saw this on my timeline of, like, trailers, and I didn't really know anything about it, but then I looked at another YouTube channel that I watched, and they actually did a trailer reaction for this, and they were like, Purge number five! And I was like, what? There's another Purge movie? Sick! So, yeah, we're gonna watch the trailer. Um, I own all of the Purge movies, one, two, three, four. Have them right over here. Oh. Up. all the purge movies i own them um and yeah i wish i had like a thing that i could put like all my all my like pop culture shebang shaboom stuff over there but uh yeah i like for the most part i like the purge movies um i don't know where they're gonna go with this one but i don't also don't really care uh, so yeah, let's get into the trailer. The annual purge will conclude in three, two, one. Oh, these are the other. Yeah, okay. Thank you for your participation. Oh, the purge just ended. We survived. All police and emergency services have been reinstated. Mexico. All crime, including murder, is now illegal. Come on, let's get to work. <laughs> All crime, including murder. Here is peaceful. No more. Powerless. How's that feel? It's the real purge. The forever purge! Interesting. Hurry up! They're coming! Come on! Follow me! There's nowhere safe to go. No way to get help. Oh my god. We gotta find another way to get out of here. But when does this take borders for the next six hours? Please. Bring this together. <laughs> Should have known. Oh. <laughs> Does this translate? It's purge, motherfucker! <laughs> okay, so I'm a little confused as to where this movie takes place because uh, the ending of the third one was the new president getting elected and she ran on a platform of abolishing the purge. I'll take these off. Um, and the fourth Purge movie was about the origins of, like, the Purge. So, I'm a little confused as to where this movie takes place. Um, but it is interesting. I was always kind of the, the, the person that was, like, really one night to satiate everyone's bloodlust. But the idea that, that people have taken it upon themselves to go further than the one night of releasing the beast 
and uh, the fact that it doesn't take place in America is also interesting. The idea that the purge has gone global. It isn't just America that it's affecting is really, really interesting to see the worldwide ramifications of this hate, frankly, stupid idea. Um, but I have always want, figured that these movies are, are, are very political. So I wonder what that uh, this type this movie will, will say about like the world that we're living in right now. What if we're living in a pandemic and stuff like that? If it'll say anything at all, I'm, I'm not really expecting it to. But um, yeah, this is very, very interesting. And uh, I'm looking forward to watching it. And I hope you guys are looking forward to watching me watch another trailer right here on YA. And I'll see you next time. Happy Sunday. God bless. Love you all. Later.